Today I am going to be going through a training video on the extraction of the chains from a Brunswick GSX pin setter short style pit, short pit machine series. We're going to go through the tools real quick of what we need. We're going to need a pair of needle nose pliers. You need a 13 millimeter wrench. You're going to need a 13 millimeter socket ratchet, a 19 millimeter socket ratchet. You're going to need a flathead screwdriver. You need to possibly have a pair of channel locks as well as an 8 millimeter Allen wrench. I have already extracted some of the shovels and some of the fender washers off the machine, but I have left some in there just to show you what we'll do. I'm trying to save some time in this video. Take your 8 millimeter Allen wrench and just stick it into these lock screws. Go ahead and do a quarter turn counterclockwise. One quarter of a turn counterclockwise. Lift up, put the panel in a good spot. Nice safe spot that it won't be in your way. Be sure if you have other associates in the building with you to mark off your lanes up front. Let them know that you need them marked off and go ahead and cut your switch off in the back so nothing can happen to you. I'm going to go ahead and pull these, ch these shovels off. They're held in there by chains on the sides. I'm gonna, the chain works like a string on a bow and arrow. You pull back in the middle, you'll get a lot of bow. You get enough bow to pull the shovels out. You can pull the shovel out from the left or the right side. It doesn't matter. Be careful as you pull the shovels out. You don't push the chain so far that you drop the other shovels out on you. One, they can hit you. Two, they can put enough shear force on that pin on the links that it'll break the pin off, and then you've got a whole other repair in itself. So I'm going to push to the right towards the seven pin side. And as you see, the one above me, because I pushed this a little too much, fell out. Because that is my, my chain on this side is very loose. When I do chain adjustments, my chain just stretched some in the time that my chains have stretched some in the time now that these chains are dirty and need to be serviced. I'll try not to yell at the camera, but I'll try to make sure you can still clearly hear me. Pushing to the right, ready to shovel out. Be sure to take off your fender washers. Try not to lose them under the machine. I'm going to go ahead and rotate it down. It is very hard to extract the shovels from the very top and the bottom. You just can't get the chain out enough to pull them out of there. I do have it in diagnostic mode, so I'm going to rotate the shovels by turning it on. Now that I've got them in the center, it's a lot easier to extract them. I'm going to push just a little. Alright, there we have our shovels out. I'm going to bring you over. I'm going to show you some messy chains as well as a loose chain, which you don't want. Alright, on this side here, I'm going to get a flashlight out, make sure we got excellent lighting. Alright, so we got the chain right here. You can see it, see how loose that is? That is not good. You shouldn't be able to see your finger out past it. Whenever I get the tension on these chains, I want my tightness to be to where the chain is about right there when it comes out. I don't want to see my fingertip. With with a good amount of pressure, that is where that chain is going to be. But as you can see on the inside here, plenty of dirt build up. It is time for this 
elevator to be cleaned. Okay, so I have my master links right here. Try and stay out enough to where you can see it. The master link is this one right here. I'm going to get the vice grips. To remove this pin, I'm going to put the bottom jaw of my vice grips under this pin on this master link and the upper part of my my sorry not vice grips needle nose I'm gonna put the bottom jaw of my needle nose on this pin and I'm going to grab push on the bottom from it I'm gonna put the top of the needle nose at the top of the clip so I'm pushing down as I compress it'll drop it down I will show a video later on up close so you can see what I'm talking about I won't be able to get you in a very beneficial position to see me actually extract this clip. Not channel locks or vice grips, needle nose pliers. Find my master link. Got my master link clip extracted. This chain is a little tight on this side, so it's probably going to be difficult to remove the cover plate. Which it is. So, that's where your flathead screwdriver and your 13 millimeter wrench and your 13 millimeter ratchet come into play. I'm going to bring you up top here and I'm going to show you what I have to do to get to loosen some tension on this chain to make it easier on myself. All right, what we have right here is we've got the actual adjustment screw here. It's got a, a slotted head on this bottom here. You'll need the 13 millimeter wrench to break that nut free. I'm going to reverse this screw. I'm going to unscrew it counterclockwise. It is going to take the pressure off of this. Then I'm going to take my ratchet and my wrench, and I am going to, sorry, I'm going to take my ratchet and my wrench, and I'm going to loosen this nut here, and I am going to loosen this same one here at the top. Now on the inside, to show you where it's at, let's get some better lighting. That is this one right here and the other one down here in the bottom. That's where you're going to put the wrench on. You really can't get a ratchet in there very well. So I'd use a wrench unless you had an, unless you want to take the time to use an extension. But I don't feel it is necessary. All right, I'm going to do this. So I'm going to take the 13 millimeter wrench and the flathead screwdriver. I'm going to bust the nut off of the top of this screw, loosening it, and back the screw out. Alright, so I've loosened the nut on my adjustment screw. I am backing my adjustment screw out. Now I need the ratchet as well as the wrenches. The wrench is going on the inside. I wouldn't recommend using the box end because you can't get it at the angle very well. Just use the open end. Loosen it. You don't have to extract it completely. Just loosen enough to where it will slide up and down. So now I've got lots of slack on my chain. I'll be able to extract it a lot easier. Come back to my master link.
Never had a master link hang on so well when it was so loose. Let's try these needle nose. Ha! Huh. Got it. And the master link is out. This side is already loose enough. I don't need to loosen that set screw at the top, the adjustment screw, or the or the two nut, the nut and bolts at the top on the left. I don't need to undo those. Clip is off. Master link, real quick. Master link cover. Man, this chain is bad need of service. Bad need of service. Got it out. All right, so now we got the chains freed up so I can extract them. I'm going to take the chains on the inside and bring you over. It makes this easier. All right, so now that the chains are free, I am going to lift the chain up and off of the wheel, the gear, the toothed gear. Sorry to shake you all around like that. All right, so I'm going to just lift this chain up and walk it off of this tooth gear. Up. Off. And bring it over and just let it, and just let it free hang. It'll hang on this bar. And do the same thing on this other side over here. Just lift it up. And walk it over. So now we got both of our chains hanging up there. Try and make this as steady as possible. All right, now the chains are free. We take our chains and we put them in a parts washing machine, but it's not very big, so I'm going to coil my chains up so they set down in the bottom very, very well for us. Chain number one for the parts washing bin. Chain number two for our parts washing. All right, next step I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take off the two gear wheels at the bottom and then extract those. It makes it easier for me to clean the bottom of the elevator out and to go ahead and clean those. This is where you'll need the 19 millimeter socket. As well, you may need a pair of channel locks, maybe. Let's see if I need the channel locks. 19 millimeter bolt down here on this wheel and break it free. I'm not going to need the channel locks. Back your bolt out. Tooth gear. Same thing, got lucky, didn't need it to extract it. So I'm going to show you around a little bit. So you know what I'm doing now. I'm getting ready to go through. I am going to 
First off, put the chains into our part washing bin so they can start soaking. While those are soaking, I am going to clean and wipe down all of our shovels. I am going to clean all the fender washers. I am going to clean out the inside back of the elevator, including the bottom. This is a good time when you can check your slide bands on the bottom. Those are the white bands to see if they need to be replaced. And then I am going to come around on the inside here and I am going to work on cleaning. Don't know if there's a lot of room to do this. I'm going to clean our actual pin shovel guides that center up the pins as they're coming up the elevator. I'm going to clean out the back of inside, the actual inside of the elevator towards the inside of the pin setter. I'm going to clean our centering, the center of the pins as it goes up. I'm going to clean them on both sides and I'm going to clean the tipper at the tipper as well. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of all those cleaning steps and then I'll bring you back and I will explain a little better how the master link worked, the extraction and installation of the master link, and that will be in the upcoming segment.